today, I'm going to give you three tips so you can avoid being stranded this winter when your car does not crank over. Stay tuned. Hi everybody, welcome to Random Fix. So about this time every year, it's like clockwork, I get responses about vehicles that are not starting, the battery's dead, or something happened to the charging system. So in this video today, I'm going to give you guys those three tips so you guys can make sure you guys have a safe and joyful winter. So I recently moved to Texas and I want to make sure that I don't get stuck here in the cold because I heard Texas gets cold guys. So I'm doing this for myself and I want to share this with you guys. So let's get started with tip number one, avoid short drives. So avoid those one mile, two mile drives if you've had a weak battery in the last six months. So you want to make sure that you always let the vehicle run for 10 to 15 minutes. And keep in mind that the colder the weather gets, the more load it's going to put on the battery to go ahead and start the vehicle. So the thing to keep in mind when you're talking about the charging system is this. When the charging system is not doing well, nothing is going to do well. So heat destroys everything and the cold just makes it noticeable. Tip number two, you want to go and close those doors right away, especially if your vehicle has a lot of little lights. Those little lights take up a lot of energy. So in my case right now, I'm actually changing the interior lights here on this Toyota Prius right here. And I'll show you guys what I'm putting in just so you guys can get a quick idea. I'm actually changing out the bulbs in here. So if you notice your vehicle has lights like this everywhere and some vehicles have about 14 lights. I'll show you guys my Dodge Caravan later on. And in that vehicle, there's lights everywhere. So that might even have more than 14, but these lights actually get hot. So if your interior light gets hot, there's not a LED in there. So you want to go and replace that. And they're very easy to do. I have a little baggie like this, pretty affordable. I'll have links videos where I show you how to go ahead and do this so you want to change out all these lights you want to change these out right here and you want to change out the ones in the rear sometimes there'll be little lights on the actual doors or underneath the dash if you can get to them get to them because alone they're not going to do a lot of damage but when you have 14 of them on and they're taking about two amps well, you're taking up 28 amps of power and on a weak battery that is definitely going to make a difference and it can prevent you from starting your vehicle the next morning when you have to drop off the kids so don't have them be late because you avoided this tip and one other thing that i wanted to mention about the interior led lights is when you replace those and upgrade to the leds the nice thing is that you will actually save the connector so if you guys have worked on cars for a long time you'll notice that the connector is sometimes burnt up or just really crispy and the wire is really frayed that is a result of heat accumulation that has built up over the years. So this light right now is already hot. And the hotter this gets, the more it lets me know that this particular light is using a lot of energy. So byproduct of energy is going to be heat. And tip number three is going to be load test the battery. So I'll have a video link down below on how you can load test yourself at home. And guys, talking about load tests. Texas is very, very hot. You can actually get a sweat going in about two minutes as it is hot out here. And besides load testing the battery, you want to carry one of these jump packs right here. And these are pretty affordable. This is one that I'm actually trying out and I don't really know if it's any good or not. So I'm going to carry this in the vehicle and try it out. But these are under $100 and they're definitely worth having. You can save somebody else on the road. You can save yourself. And it makes a lot of sense to carry this as this will get you out of a bind. Even if you have a good battery, you never know when things go bad and this will get your car started. So those are my three tips, but I do want to leave you guys off with some additional, just quick, helpful reminders. And the very first one is going to be about the battery blanket. So this is a battery blanket right here. I've seen a lot of people change batteries and they don't put this back on. So remember I told you guys, the heat destroys all and the cold just makes it noticeable. So always make sure you put your battery blankets back on if your battery is located inside the vehicle in cold weather it'll actually do better than the vehicles that have the battery exposed to the elements underneath the hood and if you want to go really hardcore and make sure that you're just going to have an overall great experience and put less of a load on your charging system and get your car started every single time let's do what i'm doing in for this prius i'm actually changing out the headlights here to LEDs because on modern vehicles, when you first turn off the car, you'll notice that the headlights actually stay on for anywhere from 30 seconds to about a minute. 
well that's going to be a really really big draw on the actual battery and the charging system so I like to change these out they're very affordable i'll have a video link down below on how you can do it yourself i've changed them out on toyotas like this mercedes benzes i'm going to change out that dodge down there so if you guys got any questions please comment down below i'll make sure to get back to you if you guys enjoyed me sweating out here in the texas sun make sure you guys give that video a thumbs up if the video was helpful and gave you guys something to think about and something to do you want to go ahead and hit that subscribe button right there and also check off that bell because i really do appreciate it and this lets youtube know that i'm bringing you valuable content we'll see you on the next one you'll find all the links down below and make it a great day thanks